Anton Deck, who famously always stands, so it's Anton Deck, they go left mm -hmm. to right, said that they were, for the next series of Saturday Night Takeaway, calling themselves Deck and Ant and standing wow. the other way around. It's something that we could play with because I'm always on this side of the screen, you're always on that side okay. of the screen. And I thought, you know what, for April Fools, we could have done a thing where, oh, oh my God. That looks... What are you doing over there? Feels good, actually. Feels wrong is what it feels, Eric. This is terrible. I'll tell you why this is terrible. I'll tell you why, right? We bring up the graphics. Well, that's wrong for a start. <laughs> and I'll tell you what else is wrong. You bring up the web address. Well, that makes no bloody sense. Uh... According to a piece of research, only half of people know what the main symptoms of COVID are. Okay. How could you not know by now? If you can't <laughs> learn that, you can't learn anything. You've had over a year of being told the same thing again and again. If you've not managed to learn that, just get yourself out of the gene pool. You're an absolute cretin. <laughs> you don't deserve breath. And do you know why I'm okay with insulting them? Because they're not going to send in an email of complaint because they wouldn't work out to click send. <laughs> we're, we're safe from these people. Normally, I'd complain about, oh, these people get the vote. There is no way they can face the right way in a polling booth. We're fine. But I'm just, I'm shocked because we're coming up for the year anniversary of me having COVID. And I've got the, uh, the long COVID. I don't want to boast. It's not about the length of your COVID. It's about what you do with it. What I do with it is I, I pant when I walk upstairs. But I'm getting better. <laughs> There were some other news stories where I thought, okay, um, let's wait to the big reveal. Let's see if it's an April Fool. Like when we heard the news that institutional racism doesn't exist, according to a government report. And we all waited and thought, come on, wait for the next headline on The Independent that says, institutional racism does exist, lols. Government prank commission suggests. Unconscious bias training must end. It does not work and it must end. It's time to find out more. And to do that, I'm joined by an expert in unconscious bias training. Hello. Uh, hello, Steve. So I like unconscious bias training. Uh, no, no, you don't, no. I think you'll find, because of your privilege, you actually don't like unconscious bias training. But I thought I liked it. No, no, uh, but you're, you're not aware of it. And that indeed is the problem. So what do I do to minimize my unconscious bias? Well, the problem is, because you're not aware of it, you can't actually minimise the bias you have. What do you do? What do I do? Um, I simply minimise my unconscious bias by minimising how much I'm unconscious. Yes, I'm going to wait for days. Thank you for watching this from Comic Solving Problems. And if you feel like it, go ahead and like the video. Or subscribe. Commitment.